Greetings. Look what an interesting article one found. It talks about Charles and the date of his coronation. Well, it turns out that on May 5, 2023, there will be a Scorpio moon eclipse, which is also visible in the UK, and thus has an effect on the UK. Just the days with the moon in Scorpio don't usually go very smoothly, with a lot of emotional tension, and what to say when it is a full moon and eclipse? Well, here's an interesting thing. First of all, Charles himself is a Scorpio, and second, the royalty in this family are in the sign of Scorpio. However, if the solar eclipse symbolizes the onset of something new and the processes that began during this period last for at least 9, or even 18 years, then the lunar eclipse indicates the end, extinction and deliverance. To be crowned during a symbolic period of deliverance is like getting rid of the crown. Is the English monarchy really over, or is it just a matter of Charles not wearing the much-anticipated crown for long? In itself, the day of May 6 is interesting. The moon is still in Scorpio, in opposition to the sun. Symbolically, the moon is the people and the sun is the ruler, so it turns out that the people are against the ruler? And next to the sun, Uranus is also a reformer. I found in the news that before the coronation Charles had had a fight with the church and broke the tradition. He would appear at the coronation not in silk stockings, but in a military uniform. Overall, the planets in the day's chart add up to a sail, which may be a good thing in this situation. On top of the sail is the moon in Scorpio and the sun in Scorpio of Charles himself. Maybe that's why the royal astrologers suggested such a date? And he weren't at all confused by the tense triangle of power, opposition and forced change of laws, opposition and danger to popularity? The date of marriage is a good indication of how the marriage will continue to work out. The date of the coronation is a marriage to one state, so here, too, one can speculate on how the relationship will unfold. Clearly, Charles wants very much to leave at least some positive mark on himself, so he puffs himself up and looks for that opportunity. But the stars seem to be against it. Because if you close your eyes to everything and see May 6 ale, you can still hope for the best. But if you put it all on the map for Charles himself? Undoubtedly, the moment of life is very important for him, and even karmic, because this is the time when Charles lives the fourth return of the nodes. This moment everyone lives in 75-76 years, when the question of completing the social realization, the evaluation of what has been achieved, and the transfer of accumulated experience and knowledge to the next generations already arises. At the same time, Charles lives through the opposition of Saturn to his natal Saturn. For the average person, this is the moment of completion of some responsibility, retirement. If one remains in the social space, however, there are increased demands on one, one's performance is judged more picky, and one either has to endure high stress and brag a lot, or one begins to slip downward. This would be the most inopportune period for marriage. Here, too, we can talk about the beginning of the end, rather than the beginning of beginnings in fresh air. Moreover, Saturn and Charles is in charge of the health sphere, so with this position, there could be a significant decline in health. Transiting Uranus, the herald of rapid change, also makes a hard aspect to the future king's son. The manifestation of personality and enthronement is hindered by some external force, surprises. Impulsiveness and rash decision-making can lead to a downfall. I think there will be a very strong popular dislike because there are several indicators pointing that way. Pluto makes a hard aspect to the Charles moon. First of all, it's a very hard aspect just for the psyche. Second of all, for the family. How did we forget about Mercury retrograde? Not only is Mercury retrograde on May 6, but it is also in hard aspect to Charles's own Mercury. Misunderstandings, disagreements, paperwork or protocol errors. Delays, tardiness, deception. Transiting Lilith in the personality manifestation area of Charles's chart. Do you think there are astrologers in the royal service? Why was such an unfortunate date chosen, 